All right, we are back. We are with second recess. So, Scooby Doo. Hi, Scooby. Hello. You want to step up? Oh, you want scratches? Okay. Good boy. Look at all your pin feathers. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get some of these. Yeah, we'll get some of these right now. Good boy. Big wings. Big wings. Uh-oh. We got Penny dropping things on Sunny. Penny, do you want that back? Sunny on the bath table. You guys enjoying this new block, huh? Yeah, oh, there you go. You enjoying these new blocks? There you go. Yeah. Say thank you, Jenny, for the blocks. Thank you. That's Sunny. <clears> There's <throat> Spiky Bird. About to go in the tube. I've got a third tube stacked up today. Basically what I do is when I take these out of the cages when they start chewing holes through them. Oh, can't see on that one. Yeah, as you can see the hole in the middle of that one. Oop. It makes it harder to sleep in because I have to keep rotating them. You want that? How about your ball? Huh? You just can't side, can you, Spike? You can't decide, can you? Hello, buddy. You gonna throw that off there? Thanks, appreciate it. Nothing like having a bigger mess. It's like having parrots. Yes, it is. Anyway, so I'm changing cardboard tubes in some of the cages today. As they chew through them, they get to look like that. <clears throat> we buy these by the case. Let's see if you can see how chewed up that is down the inside. They shred these up at night. And I just throw them around the room and let them play with them. So there's a couple on the floor there and several over there and there's some back over there on the play perch or the smaller stand. A lot of times I'll put them between things. It gives us something to climb on. I don't have to quite throw them away yet or recycle them yet. But uh, so far, let's see here. Sunny and Spike have got a new tube there. They've got a new tube over in the corner. Mango and Penny have a new tube there because theirs were completely trashed. And a new tube here because that one was completely trashed. And when I'm done recording this, i got to put a new one in Scooby's because it's starting to... Oh, maybe it's not. I thought that one was light. Usually I can just push in the bottom. You can tell when they're blasted through. I've chewed them up. Marley and Nigel have gotten rid of this one altogether. It's actually, it's actually hanging over there. <laughs> so I'll, that's another thing I'll do is I'll unroll them and use them as a toy. So you can see that there. Just hanging on one of the perches. It's another shredding toy. Um, yeah. You guys have already gone through that one. You need a new one? I think you guys, yeah. Yeah, that one's thin. You can see it moving real easy. So, uh, Gilly and Kyle, they sleep in this one. So that one gets used every night for sleeping. Eddie and Ricky sleep in this one every night. And Marley and Nigel sleep in that one every night. And you can see the pile of it there from them shredding it up. Actually, you can see down the inside. I'll be replacing that one today. So we're going to go through a dozen of these tubes today. And then Mango and Penny sleep in both of those. Penny sleeps over there and Mango sleeps over there. And Scooby-Doo sleeps in that one. So anyway, this is our second recess. I've got more stuff to do. I've got more tubes replaced and some cage papers to do. You can see i got a pile of papers over the floor. I'm trying to do them as I go through. Scooby, what you up to? Huh? Hi, Scooby. Who didn't we see on the video yet today? Oh, Mango. Who's on my shoulder? You want some scratches, buddy? You want some scratches? Huh? Mango. Doing some preening. Doing some preening. Wow, Sonny. 